Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, good afternoon. Thank you all for joining us and giving us this opportunity um, to share a little bit about Google My Business. I'm Janet Johnson, and I'm one of the sales reps for Equity Title. Um, the one thing besides meeting new people that I love about my job is just I get to be a continual learner all the time. And that is because uh, this industry is always changing. Um, and so, yeah, Kelly. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Kelly Quigley with Equity Title as well. And first of all, I want to thank you so much for joining us because we've all definitely learned a lot of things in the past, gosh, I'm losing track of time, the past uh, month and a half. And this is a great thing that Janet is going to be talking about today. And just want to remind you um, that we're here to help and assist in any way, accountability partner and so forth. So I'll let Janet take it away. I do interject a little bit, but just with some ideas. But um, thank you so much for uh, putting this together, Nalani and Tay, and thank you so much for um, leading this, Janet. Appreciate it. Okay, so the, the three things we're gonna be talking about or covering today are why Google My Business for you and your business, uh, what a Google My Business looks like, and once verified, how to maximize your account. So I know when I meet with uh, a new broker, whether they're a seasoned broker, seasoned broker or a brand new broker, I always see if they have a Google My Business. Um, I believe it's it is essential for increasing your exposure and having that internet presence when being Googled. Um, I tr truly believe it is as essential as your business card and your website. So what is a Google My Business? I'm gonna share my screen here really quick. Uh, Google My Business is a free and easy uh, tool to use for business to manage, the, to manage your online presence across Google, including search and maps. You can both help customers find you and tell them the story of your business. Uh, your Google listing gives you increased exposure from Google. When done well, it can be a great source of leads through many features such as click to call and reviews. So um, let's take a look at a Google My Business page, Nailani's. Thank you, Nailani. And kind of go over from, from the top to the bottom. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But we're just going to kind of talk about all the features and um, go through it from there. So as you can see, I mean, you get the full right side of the page here. Um, she has great uh, search engine optimization. I mean, she has the full left-hand side of the page here, too. But when you see this, everything is right here. Um, and from the start, you have the pictures up top. She has her logo. She has the street view, which is great when somebody is driving to her office. They can see the office that they are driving to. Um, there's other options here that um, I would suggest using. There is, uh, you should... I say you should always have your picture here so they can nice. see her beautiful I face. Put trigger on there. Um, <laughs> thanks, Jay. And um, and a video as as well. So um, remember, faces take you places. It's just another time that you're building trust when they see your face there. So um, and then of course the name of her business, clickable to go into her website. Um, so they can see your listings, learn a little bit more about you. Um, driving directions, if they're in their car and they're on their phone, you just click right into directions. It takes you right to your office. You always want your office address. You don't want somebody showing up at your front door at your house. <laughs> and then reviews, which are, you know, the, the currency of your business these days. Um, you definitely want to uh, be gaining these reviews. And... Um, and building those reviews. So um, if you don't have a action plan to be building reviews in your business, I would definitely get those on your checklist. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a super checklist person. So if it's not on my checklist, it's not happening. And I, I, I would add re getting a review, asking for a, a review when um, your clients are waiting for that check or waiting for that, um, their keys is a perfect time to ask for that review and then building them here. Um, is, a, is a great place. 
the hours of operation, I would say the first thing when I see if somebody has a Google My Business, this is the first mistake, um, if there is such a thing um, that they might have. They have always open. You guys definitely work 24 seven, but um, on Google My Business, it's very, very important to have hours of operation because if somebody got on Google, sent you a message, which they can do in the middle of the night and you don't answer till morning because you're sleeping, um, Google will downgrade your uh, Google My Business because you are supposed to be always open. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then of course your clickable phone number here. Um, one thing I want you also to notice is Nailani's Facebook profile pulled over. And if you ask Nailani how it got here, she would probably not know because it, she didn't put it there. Um, Google My Business is an algorithm and it will pull social profiles as it chooses. And so uh, we used to think if you would match all this perfectly to like Zillow and other social profiles that all of this would like Zillow would pull over your Facebook business page would pull over. But um, like I said, it's an algorithm. It does what it likes. Um, but Nailani's lucky because she has more social proof here with her Facebook business page and they can click there to learn more about Nailani. So um, all of that is awesome. Um, I say that Google My Business is a way better version of the Yellow Pages, but kind of is like that. People go here to find out um, people's phone numbers, more about them, all of that. Some, um, some of you may want to set up your Google My Business page and set it and forget it, um, which is definitely possible. You can set this up and not have to do much more with it, which is pretty nice um, in today's world, except for I would always say keep adding to these reviews because, um, you know, I mean, I was in Federal Way not too long ago and was looking up the best Thai place. And I just giggled when I thought about how I went off of people I don't even know's reviews about how that was the best Thai place. People really do look at those reviews and believe them, even though they don't know where they came from or who those people are. So, um, so if you want to um, really, if you're building your business and you're a new agent and you want to um, really create a Google My Business page that is optimized, Google My Business says, um, those who optimize their Google listings are essentially performing what is known as a local search engine optimization. And when we say this, we're saying um, when we're talking local SEO, um, we're saying when I went in and searched, for instance, best real estate broker in Kent, and your name still pops up, that is local SEO. So there's ways that you can start building local SEO from using your Google My Business page organically. And there's three steps to that, which are fairly minimal, um, in my eyes anyway. And that is these pictures up here. They re Google really likes you to use Google, obviously. And they like you to use these pictures. So not only maybe having your face, um, but there's also a on the back end when you get in on the Google on the back end, there's a place to put video. They really like the video section. So they want you to use that. And that could be of your team of a listing that you have. Um, and they really, really, really encourage you to get these listings and not only get the listings, but then once you get them to come in here and like them and respond to them. And you can only do that obviously if you are Nailani or whoever's page this is. And then um, posts, which a lot of people don't know about posts, but I wanna show you um, Mark um, from the Bellevue office. He has, he's done a great job of um, managing his posts. And these are free. They're like a Facebook post or an Instagram post, and they're free on your Google My Business. Once you're verified, you can do these posts. Um, and you can highlight many things in your business, such as things you've done in the community, um, your listings, your open houses. In fact, uh, Scott Lansing and I, uh, he had a 
this was a while back, but he had a listing that sold 20,000 over a list price in three days. So we put that on one of his posts. And then um, let's see, I'll show you here. The learn more button here. Whoops, sorry. The learn more button here. We had that go back to his website. And then we put, um, would you like to know what your home is worth? And then the learn more button went back to his website. So it drove traffic back to his website and it was back to his home evaluation page. So it drove tra traffic back to his website. So there's so many things you can do with these posts. It is free and it builds up that SEO that I'm talking about um, because Google hey, loves Jay, you. To, Jay, yeah. Hey, you were cutting out there. Maybe it was just for me. Was I cutting out? I, I heard you fine. Okay. I apologize. No worries, David. Do no, you sorry. want to repeat it? No, no, go ahead. If it, it might have just been my connection, but I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. So if you see, um, as you can see, all these posts that Mark has, these were free for him to put up. He's done a great job. Um, and these just are located right, be right below his Google My Business page. So um, that will help your SEO. So if you just want people to be able to Google your name and come to your page, you just put up your Google My Business page and get reviews and you're fine to be able to just do that. Um, if you wanna start moving up your SEO so that you come up when it's um, best real estate agent in Kent or Burien or West Seattle, that's when you want to work on the SEO and you just have to manage those little things that we, those three things that I talked about. Um, and I can help you with all of those and Kelly can as well. But I really think um, with Google, my business, um, there's so many things out there. And with this being complimentary, as Kelly would say, she doesn't like free, <laughs> but with it being free and everybody on Google and that internet um, presence is so important that um, I, I don't think you can go wrong. So, um, and it's so easy for your clients to click and find you and call and engage with you all, so. So everyone on this call, I'm throwing out a challenge. I'm gonna pull a take roll. Um, today is May 19th and we have 12 days till June 12th. I challenge you to go and get this set up. Uh, write this down www.google.com forward slash business and you click up into the right hand side that says sign up here it's at the very top i was working on something last night just from a personal set, um, perspective we don't bling it we don't net or internet explore it anymore we google everything I mean, like Janet said, it's such a powerful tool. And yes, it is free. It is complimentary. And as a lot of you know, technology, it's my friend and I like it, but I like easy. This is easy. Um, you can't break it. You can only manage it, manage it. But the only way to do that is to get started. And so once you repeat that process of getting it set up, Google now has to mail you a card and it takes seven to 10 business days. That's why I challenge you to get it started now or today because the card will come with your activation code to the office, but that's seven to 10 days away. And Janet and I are here as an accountability apartment um, or a accountability partner. And like I said, I've set it up three different times, dummy in my Gmail account. I probably should have Kelly Love's title and escrow set up by now, but I don't want to do that. Um, but anyways, it really is, you cannot break it. Like I said, only you can manage it. And I've learned a lot just in the last few weeks that Janet and I have been playing with it. But we're here to help. If you want us to call you in the morning and every day bug you, say, hey, yeah, I want an accountability apartment. I want to Zoom with you to go through it. Um, but I do put that challenge out there because as you know, we've changed, we're still essential and we Google everything. I love Google Juice. I'm sure you do too. So any questions for us while we have you on here? Um, like I said, I'm really happy to be an accountability partner. Yes, Janet? Um, so I'm seeing some questions. Nailani, your, your phone number actually is clickable when you're on the phone, uh, just not on the computer that I was showing it on. So you're good. 
And then um, it's Teresa said, I've heard it's better to list your area that you serve first before your name and company. It's, they're gonna Google your name. They're not gonna Google the area. So um, I have heard that it is good if you, if you um, serve a certain area. So let's say it's West Seattle. You can say um, Teresa Broth, um, Berkshire Hathaway, West Seattle, and then you will really hone in on that area. But if you serve other areas, then you're kind of ousting yourself out. But if that is your niche, or your niche, or however you pronounce it, then that's a good way to do it. Um, and there are areas, Teresa, to go in there and click on other areas. I mean, it's just a click of a button. Google asks you these questions as you're in setting up your, um, your uh, profile page or your Google My Business, excuse me. It'll ask. So Cassandra said she has her page up and signs up for HomeSnap Pro. They want $99. I, I don't know anything about that. I don't pay for anything with Google or suggest don't pay for anything with Google. I know they have Google ads and all of that, but everything that I know of that I talk about is free. So, yeah. Looking hey, Cassandra, I would suggest that you make an appointment with, with uh, Kelly to kind of go over it and she can help you set it up. Yeah, absolutely, Cassandra. And, and that's true of anybody. If you want a little bit of time, just in the chat, just let Kelly or Janet know that you want a, an appointment and they will do your own Zoom with you or you know, check yours out, give you some constructive criticism in the kindest way possible. Yeah, so I've set up many of these um, since the COVID-19 and, um, you know, we just do a Zoom, you share your screen, you do all the driving and I see what you're doing and it works out just great. Um, and this is the perfect time to do it. So uh, let us know, we're happy to help. And because, uh, I mean, we're just, it's just kind of the waiting game right now, and that's what we're all doing, so it's perfect. But you all are essential, and, um, you know, like I said, my biggest thing is you can't break it, and the only way to get started, like Tay says, is to execute it and do it now and put it on your to-do list. And so, once again, it's just www.google.com forward slash business. Click sign up, and we're happy to, like I said, Zoom with you and walk you through it. So Teresa said she got a $50 coupon from Google. I've been seeing a lot of people been, have been getting that. I think they want you to do an ad, but those posts um, are free. So, I mean, you could spend your ad money the way you'd like, but I'm only talking free. So that's, <laughs> I don't know how else to answer that. How many have their Google their business up? I know you do, Tay. Tay, you need to fix your hours. Nalani, good job. Uh, we have Google in here. Yeah, you got to go in a minute. <laughs> Rhea, you and I worked on it. Have you got your card yet? Okay, good, good. Elizabeth, do you have yours up yet? Deidre Hicks, I know you were working on yours too. And um, I'll check on it because it was pulling up to an old brokerage. So I know once you set it up, it's super easy to manage. So um, Jeff, do you have yours? Yeah. Yay, Jeff. Okay, nice. good. 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 <laughs> Yeah, that's that's why I'm here. So I knew that there were things I needed to edit. So I needed to get that refresher on how to edit my. Uh, yeah, so you business. just go back and you hit manage, Tay. So just fix your hours. Yeah. So simple. So simple. Thank yeah. you. So simple. Absolutely. Yeah. So we're here to help in any way, and we're going to be coming up with some other fun classes. And thank you so much for hosting this. And hope you and your families are all doing safe and as well as can be expected. Sure I love seeing the faces. I wish I could I see too. everyone. I so much. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, Jeff. Good to see you. Yeah, so. Oh, here comes the faces. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, Judy. Okay. Ooh, I love her shirt. So, yeah, mm -hmm. any other questions for Janet and I? And like I said, I, I truly ch challenge you all. Um, seven to 10 days to get that activation key and when's the right time right now. So why express in your mind? Once again, you really can't break the system. Um, I was a little scared of it, but like I said, I Google wants me to set up Kelly Quigley loves title 50 times because I've been practicing. So just go for it and we're here to help and support you or hold your hand or get on a zoom with you or, and don't hesitate to ask us a question. If I don't know it, I'll call Janet. So there you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> can I can I say real quick for my agents in West Seattle and in Burien, if you haven't signed up for Google My Business and you do it, they'll send you something to your physical address, which is the office address. Yeah. So um, before you can finalize setting it up. So I'm going into the office, I'm getting mail once to twice a week. And so when I get those, I'm just taking a photo of them and texting it to you so that you can get your, your code straight to you when it comes in. So um, if you're looking at it and you're like, well, gosh, it's just going to mail to the office. Uh, we have a, a, a plan in place that we've been executing for a lot of agents that have set up Google My Business while we've been on the lock-in so, or the lockdown. So at any rate, just, just a heads up on that. You don't have to worry about that. Let them send it to the office. You'll get it very, very quickly. Yeah, Tay's been great about that. Thanks, Tay. Yeah, absolutely. I think that this is this is an absolute for everybody. If you don't have this, you have to have this because you're, the people that you're meeting, the people you're talking to, they are Googling you. They are, they are, they are. And if you're not there or you're not there in a professional capacity like you could be, you're losing opportunities. So, mm -hmm. yeah, very yeah. good. Okay. Well, thank you well, so much. Get busy. We are here. Yep, we're here to help you. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. You guys nice to see all your happy faces. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye, Sandra. Bye.